and hello guys so welcome back to uh, mass effect episode 4 yes episode 4 dan kayaknya kita punya misi hmm, coba kita lihat dulu ya go to cockpit and bicara sama joker jadi kita ngomong dulu sama joker cockpit itu kalau nggak salah di mana? Ya? Oh iya di sana. Dan itu Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Normandy Normandy itu udah kayak pesawat kita Pokoknya dari awal sampai akhir kita bakal pakai Normandy Meskipun di Mass Effect 2 kayaknya uh, Kita pakai Normandy buatan Jadi kita sekarang ke namanya Citadel Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers on any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 42. Normandy, SR1. So this is like like Star Wars. Not not too much. 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 The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Sekarang kita ada misi lagi, misi kedua, dan tadi adalah prolog dari misi pertama. Sekarang kita harus ke tower di presidium. Ada kayak kata sambutan dari The Council. Jadi kita bakal uh, banyak bicara dengan The Council di misi ini. Lebih ke politik.
Jadi cerita itu memang benar-benar luas. Eh, salah. <laughs> nah, presiden location. Cita -cita tower. Sekarang kita bakal nemuin the council dan kita bakal uh, ngomong dulu dengan siapa tadi bapak-bapak baju putih itu. Lupa namanya. <laughs> Jadi kita lurus aja. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakari. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Okay, thank you. Uh, hey ladies. Uh, kenapa cuman orang-orang tertentu yang mau ngomong dengan kita ya? Aneh. <laughs> Aduh. Gak bisa lari ya? Jauh banget sih. Ini siapa? Bukan. Kirain bapak tadi. Uh, ini dia. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Well, Then you tried mind. to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, Your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Wah, anjir. This meeting is adjourned. Si Saren kurang ajar ya.
It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren or... As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Berg. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Colonel. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Oke, okay, Paragon naik. Uh, tapi kerjaan makin sulit dan uh, kita harus nyari bukti-bukti untuk menguatkan bahwa Saren itu tersangkanya. Dari kejadian kemarin eh kejadian pada episode-episode sebelumnya. Bagi kalian yang belum tahu jalan cerita dari Mass Effect dari awal, silakan nonton di episode pertama. Uh, sangat menarik ceritanya, mulai kompleks sekarang dan bagi kalian yang ingin diskusi boleh komen, silahkan komen uh, tentang episode kali ini maupun episode episode yang apa sih kira-kira yang bakal terjadi di episode berikutnya. Tapi jangan di spoiler kan. <laughs> Gua harap banget jangan pernah di spoiler. So uh, diskusiin aja gimana uh, game ini dari segi cerita, dari segi grafis. Karena game ini kan dari tahun 2000 Publis tahun 2007 ya, kalau nggak salah. 2007 atau 2008 gitu. Dan grafisnya udah lumayan bagus ya buat game kayak gini. Dan ceritanya itu luar biasa. Dan yang paling membosankan, membosenin, ya ini. Ketika di live. <laughs> dan uniknya ada sistem seperti ini. Bahkan... Ada musik di liftnya, <laughs> luar biasa. Kalau detail seperti ini sebenarnya gak kepikiran ya. Ada musik di dalam lift, mungkin biar gak bosan juga. Jadi kita sekarang ke, wah, ada tiga misi tambahan. Hmm. Investigasi Saren ke Sisek, uh, temui Harkin, dan 
cari Barlafon Financial District. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Ini makhluk apa ya? Please do not disturb the keepers. Jadi kita sekarang ke Barlafon. Lumayan jauh. refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Yep. Dan itu salah satu tugas ternyata. Uh, ya. Yeah. Uh, side mission. Jadi lumayan buat nambah S XP. Experience. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here. For your assistance in this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Okay, XP-nya cuma nambah 10 ya, tapi lumayan. Nyelesain masalah-masalah kayak gitu juga bisa dapat XP. Hmm, kenapa dia santai-santai? Udah deket. Dan kayaknya episode kali ini gue udahin dulu. Uh, makasih banget buat yang udah nonton. Subscribe dan like jangan lupa. Dan makasih banget udah sampai episode keempat sekarang. Mau nonton, sudi mau nonton. <laughs> makasih banget dan sampai jumpa di episode berikutnya. Bye.